Welcome everyone. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to install the Battle.net launcher on your Steam Deck so that you can natively install Activision Blizzard games to your device. We'll be doing this with the help of a community developed toolkit called non-Steam Launchers as it is quite useful and makes things so much easier for us. Now to begin, we first need to reboot our Steam Deck into desktop mode. So let's go ahead and hit that power option and then switch to desktop. Then go ahead and open up a web browser, whether that is Firefox or Chrome or any other browser, and then visit the GitHub page for the non-Steam launchers project. I'll be sure to include the link to this page down in the video description below. And then when you get here, go ahead and scroll down until you see that big download button. We're going to go ahead and right click that. Click on save as and save this to the desktop. And, and just, just make, make sure that if you are downloading this from Firefox to remove the dot download file extension so that it ends in .desktop. Now, now let's find that non-steam launchers.desktop file, double click it, and then continue. You're going to see a script running in the background with a window popping up that asks which launcher that you want to install. As this video is focused on battle.net, we're going to select Battle.net from right here, and then we're going to click on OK. So after canceling out of that shortcut, you can see that it is now working. Now there are a number of things that are going on in the background. This script is installing the latest version of GE Proton the experimental version of Proton. It then installs the binaries for non-Steam Launcher under a unique Proton prefix folder. And then it adds everything to our Steam library so that it can be accessed in desktop or gaming mode. So depending on how many launchers you selected, this installation can take longer or can be done very quickly. You're just wanting to wait until it completes. It closes out Steam so that it can be opened back up. And you can see Steam not only closed by itself, but it relaunched by itself. Not only will this project allow us to install the launchers that you saw in the list, but it also handles all of the downloads for those launchers and sets up the installation folder for your Steam Deck as well. Non-Steam launchers includes micro SD support, so everything can be moved to or installed to the SD card rather than your internal storage. So after the launcher has exited Steam and opened it back up, let's go ahead and go to our library. And then let's find the newly installed launcher in our list here. Even go ahead and launch it to test and make sure that it was installed properly. And after you enter your login details, you can see the Battle.net launcher opens right up.
Just remember that while you're actually using the mouse in this launcher, while it is in desktop mode, you're going to need to hold the Steam button down while you make these clicks. And once we have the Battle.net launcher installed through desktop mode, let's go ahead and reboot and get us back into gaming mode. Now that we are back into gaming mode, you can see Blizzard.net, the launcher is right up here at the top, and we can go ahead and open it up directly from here. Then we're going to log right back in. Remember we need to hold that Steam button down to actually click stuff. But we could also use the touch screen. And as a test, let's go ahead and just install Hearthstone. You can change the folder if you want and put this to the micro SD card again. but I'm just going to be installing this to the internal storage in this test. Now that the game has been installed, we could go in and launch it directly from the Battle.net launcher if we wanted to. and then play the game that way. Now, if you have used this to install a game from the Epic Games Launcher or Ubisoft Connect, then it comes with a service that will run in the background that will automatically add your installed games to your Steam Launcher library here. However, for all other games from other launchers, including Battle.net, the developer recommends you use a tool called Boiler, B-O-I-L-R, that you can use to install and find these games much easier. Games that have been added directly to the Steam Deck user interface will need to go in to the Properties area, and find the compatibility section for that game and make sure that you are on the experimental version of Proton for it to run properly. Some launchers require you to install additional setup files when you first run them, so be ready for that. And I have also found that logging into these launchers through your social accounts tends to be easier in desktop mode rather than gaming mode. So be aware of that. The last thing that I, that I want to mention that if you have added your game individually to the Steam Deck user interface, along with checking the compatibility section, you'll also want to set up the controller section through here. Change our current layout and then select the gamepad with mouse trackpad. And that should give you access to all of the control buttons as well as the mouse. Again, as long as you're, use, you're holding down the Steam button with this trackpad. So I hope this video has helped anyone who has wanted to install a Battle.net game onto their Steam Deck. The process does take a little bit of time However, once you get the Battle.net launcher installed, 
it's quite quick to jump into your game after you have logged into your Activision Blizzard account. 